Hello, everyone, and welcome to our webinar on current trends in academic publishing. In the first part of the webinar, we will be discussing Diamond Open Access Publishing. My name is Katri Seitsonen, and I work as an information specialist in Aalto University. This is the agenda for our presentation. So first, I will give you a brief introduction to Diamond Open Access Publishing. And then my colleague Eva will give you an overview how all the university researchers have published in Diamond Open Access journals during the recent years. But let's start with defining different types of open access publishing in order to understand what we mean with Diamond Open Access. And here we present four different types of open access. So first we have open access journals, which are journals which have no subscription fees for the readers. So everyone has access to the all contents of the journals. In gold open access journals, usually there is an article process in charge for the authors. In diamond open access journals, there are no article processing charges for authors. Then we have subscription journals, which require a subscription fee in order to get access to the all contents of the journal. If someone wants to publish their article open access in such a journal, they need to pay a separate article processing charge. This is called hybrid open access. The fourth option is green open access, and it means that the article is published behind the paywall in subscription journal, but then the final accepted and peer-reviewed manuscript version is made open access in a repository. In gold open access, in diamond open access, and in hybrid open access, the version of record, the publisher's version, is available open access in the publisher website. In green open access, this version of record is not open access, but instead, the manuscript version is made openly available in a repository. But then let's have a closer look on what we mean with Diamond Open Access. And here we have collected definitions. And uh, in 2021, a Diamond Open Access Journal study was published. And according to this study, Diamond Open Access refers to journals which publish without any these for readers or from, for authors. Uh, what is interesting is that usually the definitions on diamond open access do not include the use of open licenses, for example, which is an important feature in open access publishing. And I would like to remind you that in this presentation, our focus is on diamond open access journals. So we have excluded diamond open access books from these definitions. And again, according to the Diamond Open Access Journal study, the majority of Diamond Open Access Journals are quite small in size, and they publish fewer than 25 articles a year. And also the majority of Diamond Open Access Journals are published by universities. What is surprising is that only one third of Diamond Open Access Journals are indexed in the directory of Open Access Journals, which is the most extensive database for open access journals. And looking at the Diamond Open Access da data in this directory of open access journals, we can see that the majority of journals indexed in this directory are actually Diamond Open Access. And of these Diamond Open Access journals, almost half of them are published in Europe. A majority of them accept manuscripts also in other languages than in English, and over 60% are in the field of social sciences and humanities. Then, since Diamond Open Access Journals do not have any fees for readers nor for authors, it is often asked that how these are then funded. And let's have a closer look on the funding side of the journals. So here we present uh, different definitions on the funding of Diamond Open Access Journals. And the first one is again from the 
Diamond Open Access Journal study. And according to this study, universities and research organizations play a leading role in funding and supporting Diamond Open Access journals. And currently in Finland, there is a national funding model for Finnish scientific journals under discussion with the aim to support Diamond Open Access publishing. And based on this funding model, the annual funding would come from research organizations based on the number of articles they have published in these journals. The Diamond Open Access Journal study presents five different profiles of Diamond Open Access journals. And these profiles also tell us how the journals are funded. The first one are small voluntary run journals which have no specific funding and a very limited budget. Second one are learned society journals, which are supported through membership fees. And the third one are institutional journals supported by home institution, usually an academic institution. And here the support may also be in-kind support in the form of a publishing platform, for example. Then we have publisher journals, so even some commercial publishers offer diamond open access journals. And the fifth one are large professional journals supported by national funding or government agencies. And next we will present some incentives which are supporting diamond open access publishing. The first one is action plan for diamond open access published in 2022. It was prepared by Science Europe, Coalitionist Funders, Operas, and French National Research Agency. An aim of this action plan is to develop common resources for diamond open access ecosystem, taking into account the cultural, multilingual, and disciplinary diversity. Then we have two Horizon Europe projects. Uh, the first one called Diamas started in 2022 with the aim to develop institutional open access publishing models. And the second one called Craft OA started this year with the aim to support the technology supporting diamond open access. And May this year, the Council of the European Union published their conclusion with the aim to support policies towards publishing model, which is open access and with no costs for authors or readers, so meaning diamond open access. And lastly, we would like to present some sources on where to find information on diamond open access journals. And the first one is the directory of open access journals I already mentioned. It is an extensive index of open access journals and in order to get indexed in the database, the journal needs to offer either a Creative Commons license or similar. And from this database, you can search for journals without APC fees. And then we have Free Journal Network, which promotes journals run according to the fair open access model. And in these journals, there are no, no fees for readers or for authors. Most of the journals available in the Free Journal Network are available also in the directory of open access journals. And again, according to the Diamond Open Access Journal study published in 2022, indexation is currently the main technical challenge for Diamond Open Access Journals. Therefore, it may be challenging to find information on Diamond Open Access Journals from databases. But now, this was a very short presentation on Diamond Open Access Publishing. And next, I will give floor to my colleague, Eva. Thank you. Thank you, Katri. So now we will have a look at how other university researchers have utilized Diamond Open Access Publication Channels between 2018 and 2022 when publishing peer reviewed journal articles. For practical reasons, the analysis was limited to scientific peer-reviewed journal article publications. We also tried to identify Diamond Open Access conferences, but it turned out that defining which conferences are Diamond Open Access and which are not was 
simply not in ambiguous enough. We identified diamond open access journals used by other university researchers by matching the ISS numbers of DOAJ indexed diamond open access journals with other current research information system ACRIS journal data and by reviewing the web pages of journals in which other researchers had published open access without fees. Since DOAJ's criteria include a CC license or equivalent, only those journals that offer a license were marked as Diamond Open Access. Information on Diamond Open Access journals was added to ACRIS journal records in the spring, and the data was collected from ACRIS in September. Our approach, of course, has its limitations and hence our results are only indicative. Firstly, as mentioned before, only a third of diamond open access journals are indexed in the OAJ. Secondly, information available on publisher or journal websites was not very comprehensive. Sometimes there was not any information related to publishing costs. For comparability reasons with DOHA journals, we only marked those journals that offer a license as Diamond Open Access, although license is not included in Diamond Open Access definitions. And we also left Diamond Open Access conferences out, which probably affects especially the results of the technical scores. So now let's have a look at some results. As you can see, the total number of Diamond Open Access articles has remained rather modest in average 70 articles per year. The numbers go up and down, so there doesn't seem to be a very clear trend so far. Share of Diamond Open Access publications related to all scientific peer-reviewed journal articles has also remained quite low, from 2 to 4% per year. In Sami Suryamaki's article, it is said that some 5% of Finnish research organizations' article output in DOHA and Cabos index journals was published in Diamond Open Access Channels in 2020. We, however, didn't have information on Cabos index Diamond Open Access journals, so our results can be compared to these results only with some reservations. But if we compare our results to this finished level presented here, it seems that other universities' researchers publish less in Diamond Open Access outlets. If we compare the share of Diamond Open Access journal articles to other open access types, we can see that the share of Diamond Open Access remains steadily low, while the share of hybrid open access is increasing and read open access is decreasing. The share of code open access that is not identified as Diamond Open Access is increasing, but not as sharply as hybrid open access. So far, it looks like Diamond Open Access is playing only a minor role in open access publishing. But of course, this picture would probably look different if we had been able to identify Diamond Open Access outputs more comprehensively. This picture illustrates the share of Diamond Open Access articles of each other university school. The School of Arts, Design and Architecture has published the largest share, altogether 35% of Diamond Open Access articles in 2018 and 2022. The School of Science holds the second place with 29%, and the third one is the School of Engineering with 14% of all other university diamond open access articles. Compared to the size of the school's output, the School of Arts, Design and Architecture stands out in this figure, which is not surprising since, as Katri told earlier, a large share of diamond open access journals operate in the fields of social sciences and humanities. Although, as we will notice later, this, this is not the whole truth. If we look at the peer-reviewed journal articles of each school, and what is the share of Diamond Open Access articles among them, the short answer is small, apart from the School of Arts, Design and Architecture, which is completely on its own level in the share of Diamond Open Access publishing, reaching even 25% in 2020. 
Of course, we must remember that the amount of peer-reviewed journal articles in the School of Arts, Design or Architecture is rather small. We can also see that there's variation in the share of Diamond Open Access articles from year to year. But it is good to remember that the amount of Diamond Open Access articles in general is so small that an increase or decrease of just a couple of articles may cause a change that looks bigger than it actually is. These here are the most popular Diamond Open Access journals in which all the university researchers have published in 2018 and 2022. If we look at the publishers of these journals, they are mainly universities or societies, and four of them are operating in Finland. But if we look at the topics, well, four of top 10 journals are from social sciences and humanities, and they are marked with yellow dot, and that's quite expected. But the rest of the journals are in the fields of science and technology. So there are diamond open access journals in these fields available as well, although it is probably true that there are more available for social sciences and humanities fields. And these are the most popular diamond open access publishers. There are 11 of them, because IWA Publishing and Universidade de Valle do Rio dos Sinos both had the same amount of publications, so both of them were included in the list. Again, we can see that the most of the publishers are society or university-based, and four of them are from Finland. However, it seems that also big publishers have embraced Diamond Open Access, at least on some level, because Elsevier and Springer are also on this list in addition to societies and universities. We also compiled a list of most popular journals of each other university school. And here are the list of the School of Arts, Design and Architecture and the School of Business. And these are the most popular journals of the School of Chemistry and the School of Electrical Engineering. And these are the most popular journals of the School of Engineering and the School of Science. To conclude, the total number and share of peer-reviewed Diamond Open Access articles in Alta University in 2018 and 2022 is rather small in general. Except for the School of Arts, Design and Architecture, where in average 20% of peer-reviewed articles are published in Diamond Open Access outlets. Among different open access types, the share of Diamond Open Access is still rather low, from 2 to 4%, whereas the share of hybrid and gold open access are increasing and green open access is decreasing. The profile of Aalto University with four technical schools might partly explain the lower share of peer-reviewed Diamond Open Access articles published in Aalto in 2018 and 2022 compared to the Finnish average, which was around 5% in 2020, including both DOAJ and Cabell's index journals. Most popular Diamond Open Access journals and publishers include several Finnish journals and publishers. And the topics of these most popular journals cover also science and technology, not only social sciences and humanities. Most popular journals are published mainly by universities and societies, but also big publishers such as Elsevier and Springer appear among the most popular publishers list. In the future, it would be interesting to repeat this exercise with a more inclusive and comprehensive source of Diamond Open Access journals or outlets, including also conferences. Here are some references used in this presentation. And now I thank you for your attention and we can move on to the discussion.